Archery Deer Hunting for Beginners is brought to you by Rack Stacker Big Game Attractants, Fast Track Performance, Kent Cartridge, Vortex Optics, Mossberg Firearms, Bullseye London, and the Nook Professional Cases. Everybody, it's Carl and Ian from The Real Outdoor Experience. Thanks for tuning in. This is our episode four. On uh, this episode, we're going to talk about tree stand safety and location. So stand by. We'll get right back to it right after this. I'm in the safety business, so safety is always first and foremost for me. Don't neglect to buy a safety harness. So, so important. I don't know how many times I read on Facebook or you know see in the news that a hunter's fallen out and he's paralyzed or uh, severe injuries or dies. Uh, teach safety to everyone you hunt with right from day one. So, so important. Speaking about safety again, we were talking about trees and, and the proper choice for a tree. You're looking for a tree that's large so that it covers your silhouette, but you're also looking for a tree that's live. Uh, I know that we put up a tree stand, you know, it was something that wasn't really even on our mind. We put up a tree stand, perfect location, beautiful tree, big tree, and we get up there and, uh, you know, we start hunting and branches are falling down. It turns out it's a big old ash tree that has died. With that particular stand also, we uh, we chose it late after all the leaves were down. All the trees kind of looked the same and it's like, oh, you know what, that's just the, the perfect tree. It's pointing in exactly the right direction. It, it just fit all the bills that we were looking for, but we didn't stop to make sure that it was in fact a live tree. Once you've got your stand location established, and again, this is much more important for bow hunting than, uh, than shotgun or rifle, Making sure that you've got clear shooting lanes into where you think the deer is going to step is very, very important because if you don't have a clear shot with a bow and arrow, you can't take your shot. And the slightest little branch, I've seen blades of grass turn an arrow and that can result in an injured deer, a gut shot deer, you know, a deer that you never recover. You've got to have your shooting lanes cleared out to make sure that you've got clear, unobstructed view and, you know, arrow path to the deer. And if you do all that clearing a couple of days before you're going to hunt it, deer are going to notice that something is up. And again, ideally you'll have all that done in, you know, late summer. The sooner the better. Sometimes, you know, you're only going to be able to hang a stand and hunt it that day. I keep pruning shears in my pack and to be able to just run around and clip all that stuff. And it's not ideal. And if you are going to be doing any serious sawing or, you know, cutting down trees to clear a shooting lane, then um, I think you may want to consider hunting um, that spot the next year. You want to have at least four or five different shooting opportunities depending on you know, where the you know, deer are going to go. Good point. It, you know, it's not a shooting gallery out there. You may have one opportunity in the entire season. So make sure that that shot is going to hit its mark. Uh, just another tip before we uh, close this episode off is when you're done clearing all that stuff around your stand, Go up in your stand, because I guarantee you, you've missed something. Mm. It's a lot easier to do it together, and it's good to be able to stand in your stand in a shooting pose, and to be able to have a guy on the ground with a pole saw and be able to go, no, you know, can you take off that branch or nip that off, you know, clear that out, so that you do have, you know, numerous options as far as being able to take your shot goes. Ideally, you are only going to take one shot. Exactly. So all the preparation, all the legwork, and everything go into that one shot. Make it, you, want to, you want to make it count. You do want to make it count. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you on the next episode. Take care from Carlin and Ian and the Real Outdoor Experience. And as always, keep it real. Keep it real, everybody. Thanks. Take care for now. Mm -hmm.